Hi, I'm Scott Dunn. Welcome back to my channel. If you are a returning uh, visitor, thank you. And if you're a subscriber, double thank you. Just wanted to uh, check in with you guys this week. Uh, this week is sort of a week of firsts for me. Sort of a first time going salmon fishing, trolling. Uh, my daughter and I went out on a, a Tuesday and uh, the boat was the Salty Lady out of Sausalito. Uh, Captain Jared and his crew of Tommy and Jimmy. We had a wonderful time and uh, there was 30 people on the boat. Everyone caught two fish. Uh, it's kind of what you're sort of limited to when you're salmon fishing, two fish maximum and the boat uh, caught 60 fish. So sizes definitely ranged. Um, we sort of ended up with, I, I would say, I caught maybe the smaller of the two. My daughter caught a bigger fish over here. This is uh, the King Salmon Chinook and uh, that was one of her larger fishes. She did catch two of this size but she left one behind for the crew. For us, uh, we had a great time. Uh, the weather cooperated. And again, uh, amazing boat, very stable even though it was windy and we just had a great time. Uh, definitely uh, early morning we got to the boat at 5.30, had to leave the house at 4.30, and we fished until about 1.30, and it was an hour motor back in. So we got back to the dock around 2, and I, I don't think I've been as tired as I was after that whole fishing uh, event. I ended, ended up having to take a, a nap after get, getting home, and now this is day two of salmon fishing uh, outing. So. The second uh, first for me is attempting cleaning up these fish um, and doing some fillets and I've watched some videos on YouTube so far and uh, I think I can do it. I'm definitely not going to be a pro at it but everyone has to start somewhere so that's kind of what I'm going to be doing today and just wanted to again welcome you back if you are viewing this thank you and uh, again I have to say this is a, a week of first so Let's just see how it goes. So the tools of the trade are fillet knife, freshly sharpened, and uh, pliers. There's something called pin bones that have to be pulled out. And that's what we'll be using these pliers for. Uh, I cleaned up my, my area here. I have a sort of rubber tarp. It's actually an inflatable mattress that's now deflated. I use it as a workspace. That's all clean. Two cutting boards designated for fishing. Uh, I have used those before. Um, fillet knife, like I said, the four salmon, and I have to scale them. So I was really worried about scaling these guys. Uh, don't have a scaler, haven't had to mess with them before. Talked to a friend of uh, the family, longtime fisherman, Josh Churchman, uh, just a, a pro in all things fishing and anyway he said these salmon you can actually hose the scales off um, just direct the stream counter to the way the scales are laid on the body so from tail to head they should just blast off and if that doesn't work they just need to be knocked off with the back side of your fillet knife so that's what I'm going to try first so see how this goes All right, victim number one. Oh yeah. Oh man, that's looking good. Kind of making a mess here, but. I am outside. Oh, this is a pretty cool perspective. You guys got to check this out. Okay, so I'm working this fish with the hose. So here's some scales here. Oh, yeah. Coming right off. What's up, buddy?
All right, how about this side? Okay, so let's get lined up here. How's that? Okay, so scales here, see the reflection? Coming off. Alrighty. So how about with the back side of the fillet knife? Alright. Yeah, I guess there's they're very uh I don't know how you describe it when describing fish scales, not not too many, not too aggressively on there. I don't know if that's the right word. Thank you. One thing I did watch on the YouTube last night was something about cleaning out this blood groove. Now what they did on the boat for us yesterday was they gutted the fish. They had this really cool fish holder, held the fish like this upside down. You know, imagine it all together and then, you know, they just gutted it, shoot, pulled it all out. They had kept it all in one grasp and or one uh, pile in their hand and then they threw it out so I think what I'm going to do is do all the scaling at once and then I'll switch over to filleting just a beautiful color actually look at that bluish green You know, the one thing I'm thinking of while I'm cleaning these fish here, actually, a um, little story to tell, something I didn't really, didn't really know before, prior to yesterday gone fishing. You know, this week was a week of first, but uh, apparently, apparently, apparently eating a banana on a boat particularly a fishing boat is a big no-no. Uh, I packed a lunch and I actually threw a couple bananas in the cooler along with the sandwiches I made, some fruit and some nuts. We were maybe on the water for about an hour. I was starting to get hungry. I kind of had a very light breakfast. I needed to eat something so I pulled out a banana, started munching it and one of the deckhands kind of came down the rail and sort of in a very excited, almost panicked expression said, oh, throw that banana over the side. And I, I thought it was maybe something to do with uh, the smell of a banana getting on my hand. Maybe when I would bait the hook, the smell of the banana would sort of be a smell that maybe fish don't like. Anyway, I sort of chucked the banana over the side and you know, pretty much immediately he said, hey, just so you know, Bringing a banana, bringing a banana on board and eating it um, is bad luck. I had never heard that before. So, if you go fishing, word to the wise: do not bring a banana. Don't eat a banana. Apparently, it's bad luck in the fishing world. All right, first victim. Oh, we'll try a small guy. Well, I guess good. Hmm. A little bit different at this angle here. All right, buddy. Towards the head. Hmm. 
All right. Those guys on YouTube really know what they're doing. All right, two fillets.